Hi, I'm Paul Browers, Hydro Excavation and Vacuum Product Manager here at Custom Truck. Today I'll be showing you the F2 and F3 Hydrovacs by Tornado. We will go over the F4 and F5 in a later training session. But first, a little history in our hydro excavation business here at Custom Truck. Six years ago, Custom Truck recognized the increasing demand for hydro excavation services as a young but growing market here in North America. With the increased number of utilities and infrastructure underground and the need to safely excavate around these utilities, we partnered with Tornado Global Hydrovacs. Tornado Global Hydrovacs has been building hydro excavators in Alberta, Canada since 1984. They're manufactured in a 60,000 square foot state-of-the-art facility in Red Deer. Tornado was the first to design and build what we now call the Western Canadian style hydrovac. This one market's really made up of two separate markets, a tip style pictured here and the Western Canadian style pictured here. The Western Canadian style does not tip. The tank's divided by a sloped curved floor maintaining a static dumping angle. The water for excavation is stored below the debris floor. These units offer a cleaner look on the outside with no external tanks, as well as a safer means of offloading and no breaks in the vacuum system. The tip style units have to break the vacuum system at some point when offloading and have the potential hazard of rolling over or contacting overhead structures when dumping due to the boom height. Here you see the tornado dumping with the assistance of what we call a debris dozer which can be installed on any of our F-Series units to assist in more stubborn materials. The first of these trucks we're gonna be going over was a joint effort by Custom Truck and Tornado to provide a smaller, more agile unit that could better adapt to the tight quarters in today's urban environments. The goal was to build a unit that had the production capabilities of the more common, larger oil field units with smaller capacities, a shortened wheelbase, and a lower overall height. The F2 was designed and built with these exact benchmarks in mind. You'll see here it's mounted on a tandem axle, Peterbilt 548 with a 370 horsepower PX9 and an Allison 3000 RDS automatic transmission. The complete unit comes in with a 267 inch wheelbase and an overall height of just 11 foot 6 inches. The F2 has an approximate debris capacity of 7 cubic yards and has 800 gallons of fresh water on board. At the heart of the F2 is a Rabushi 125, which is a 3800 CFM 28 inch positive displacement blower, providing the same suction and air movement as its bigger siblings. This unit has a true 8-inch boom hose, setting it apart from other OEMs in its class and making it a true production hydro excavator. Other features include a 2900 PSI, 10.5 gallon per minute water pump, and a 420,000 BTU boiler to heat the water to help in hard or frozen ground conditions. The brains of the unit is a vortex control and electrical panel that integrates the hour meters, pump pressure settings, and a full troubleshooting manual to help diagnose things should the operator run into problems. The remote and charging station are located directly below the Vortex system. Also in this cabinet, you'll notice a right weight scale that comes standard on all of our F-Series units. All critical compartments do contain a heater that utilizes the engine coolant to keep things from freezing in the winter. Up top, you'll see the 8-inch Top Gun hydraulic boom. This has 20 feet of reach and 342 degrees of rotation. If positioned in the correct spot, this truck can dig over 20 feet deep without needing additional extensions. Where the boom meets the tank is what we refer to as the rock head. All the fast moving material slams into this location before being dropped into the debris tank. Tornado has made an easy open rock head with fully replaceable wear plates so an operator can clear blockages and replace the wear plate without tools or the need for welding and cutting like other manufacturers. Due to the shorter height and length of this unit, the boom is not ready to dig like its siblings, the dig tube is stored separate of the boom and with one quick clamp, the truck's ready to work. Every F-Series truck has a rear control station that can do all functions except water control should there be a problem with the remote system. 
Here you'll also find one of the red kill buttons that shut off the water and trip the vacuum breaker to reroute the vacuum from the dig tube to the truck itself, letting go of anything that may be in the dig tube. Below the rear control station, you'll see the grease fittings for the boom, so there's no need to get on top of the unit for maintenance. The hose reel holds 75 feet of high pressure dig hose and has an air actuated rewind. Custom Truck partnered with Dig Pig Products to be the first to offer their heavy duty dig wands and silencer oscillating dig tip standard on all of our builds. This unit comes with two six foot dig wands, one six foot extension and one four foot extension. The truck also comes with two separate washout wands, one of which is adjustable from fan to straight stream. Now on to the F3. We've taken the F3 and ran it by some of our engineers to see how close we can get to scalability. The answer was to spread the length a bit and add a couple 8,000 pound steerable pushers. Using 11.3 pounds per gallon as a measurement, we are able to float the fill gauge all the way and still meet federal bridge laws. The F3 is also available custom ordered with one steerable pusher versus the two in our stock configuration pictured here. Like the F2, the F3 is on a Peterbilt 548 with a 370 horsepower PX9 as well as an Allison 3000 RDS automatic transmission. The boom on the F3 is rapid deploy, which means there's no messing around with clamps before you dig. It's ready to dig as it sits in the stowed position. The boom is the same diameter, 8 inches, but has 26 feet of reach compared to 20 feet on the F2. The F3 shares the same blower as its smaller sibling, the Rabushi 125. The key differences between the two are the axle configurations, tank size, boom length, and the van body. The van body is heated and large enough to hold all critical water components as well as tools and gear for the operator. Curbside you will notice a CAT 4000 PSI water pump. The winterization system. The 690,000 BTU boiler. and the same Vortex system that is in all F-Series Hydrovacs. All F-Series Hydrovacs come with a full complement of dig pig wands and nozzles as well. All F3s come standard with an integrated toolbox as well as a microwave on the roadside. You will also find a transfer case access panel here as well.